I feel like back in the day, a lot of PlayStation gamers saw Jet Moto after playing Wave Race 64 and thought they were going to get their very own fun little jet ski racer. Then they got home, popped it in, and learned what they were really in for. A total ass kicking. Jet Moto does not fuck around. Between 20 bikes on the track and all sorts of crap in the way, wiping out in the first 10 seconds is going to happen. If you don't know what you're doing or decent at a track, you are about to get boned. Jet Moto uses difficulty ratings kind of like the ones in skiing. If you want something easy, stick to the green circle joy ride. But if you want something really challenging, go to the double black diamond nightmare, which I like to call Rainbow Road. So by now you've probably noticed the giant magnetic pole things and how they're always there with really tight turns. You gotta latch onto those things and whip your bike through the corner, but don't hold on too long, otherwise wipeout time, bitch. I mean, how cool is that? Mario Kart and F-Zero, they didn't have it. Wish they did, but they don't. Now, like other racing games, Jet Moto had a slew of racers with varying attributes. Now, some are pretty balanced, and some I wonder how they made it past their first race to begin with. Some ride for made-up teams, while others ride for real-life brands like Mountain Dew. How do you know the Mountain Dew guy's different when racing? Well, he's green. Reskin for the win! Jet Moto was a game not for the meek and timid. This PS1 classic made gamers pay for their mistakes, but want to keep coming back for more, and I love that. As Sony's answer to Wave Race 64, I gotta say, Jet Moto knows what it's doing. Or should I say, doing. Fucking product placement always working!